Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Divi's new opacity filter option to create a stunning team section. So all you're going to need in this tutorial are two images with dimensions of 800 by 455 pixels. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. Okay, so I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click, click on add new. I'm going to call this page opacity. Click on use the Divi builder. And then I'm going to click on use visual builder. The first thing I'm going to do here is to add a background color to my section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to click this plus button and paste my hexadecimal color for my background. Next, we're going to go to the design tab, click on spacing because we need to add some custom padding to the top and to the bottom. So we're going to use 115 for the top, zero to the right, zero to the left and 115 to the bottom like that. So this allows us to give our section some breathing space. Okay, so now that we're done with this, let's go ahead and save. Next, we're going to add our column structure. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and we're going to add two equal halves like that. For now, I'm going to close this. Next, we're going to go into our row settings and add a background color. So I'm going to click on background, and then I'm going to add our background color. I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value in here like that. Next, we're going to add our background image. So we're going to click this third tab, click this plus button, now my image I'm going to use is already in my media library. So all I have to do is to select it, click on upload image. And then over here for the background image size, we're going to click this and select cover because we want the whole image to show. And then over here on the background image position, we're going to select center. And here for the image repeat, we don't need this to repeat. So we're going to select no repeat. And then finally, for the background image blend, we're going to set this to overlay. Now, the reason why we're setting it to overlay, this is going to allow all our images to blend in the next few steps. Next, we're going to come over here to our design tab, click on alignment and make sure that this is centered like that. Right. So next, we're going to come over here to our sizing and then on the uh, custom gutter width, we're going to set this to one because we don't want any gaps between these two columns. So in order for us to, to get rid of it, we need to make sure our gutter width is set to one. And then we're going to come over here to our spacing. And for our custom padding, we're going to make sure that we add zeros throughout. Now, the reason why we're adding these zeros is because we don't want um, our columns to have white spaces on the top and the bottom and also on the sides. Next, we're going to come over here to our box shadow and choose this one right here, the second one on the top row. And all these settings, we're going to leave them as default. So as you can see here, by just adding that uh, box shadow, we just come up with this style, which will look better when we start adding all our content in. So now that we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and save. And then next, we're going to start adding all our modules. So let's start off by adding our text module. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button and I am going to search for my text module, select it. And then I'm going to paste my text in here like that. Now you can see here that the text is uh, way too much. So I'm just going to reduce this text a bit like that. And then we're going to do some customizations. So let's go to our design tab. So we're going to come over here to our text for our text color. We're going to select color and paste our color in here. Next on the sizing here, we can see it's size 14. That's a bit too much. So we're going to reduce that to about, uh, let's say 13. Okay. And then over here on the text orientation, we need to make sure that this is centered. Now, as we can see, this text is um, really going to the edges here. So we need to adjust the sizing. So let's come over here to sizing and uh, with, let's set this to about 61%. So you can see here that this is much better now. And then all we need to do now is to align it to the center. Now we still have a problem here. We can see that our text is right here touching the top. So let's add some spacing and we're going to add a custom padding of 60. 
So now we have enough space on the top, which is brilliant. So now we're done with this, let's go ahead and add our second text module. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, and I'm gonna search for it once more, one more time, select it, and then we're gonna call this Jane Doe. Click on the design tab, and then we're gonna come over here to our text, and then for our text font, we're gonna change this to a letter stencil, and then we're gonna increase the size to about, let's say 70, like that. We're going to center it. Next, we're going to come over here to our text color and make sure that this is set to white. And then we're going to come over here to spacing and make sure that we're going to add some breathing space. So you can see here the text is overlapping with the paragraph text here. So let's add 50 to the top like that. So now we have enough breathing space, which, looks, which is looking much better now. So for the bottom, we're going to go ahead and add zero. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to the filters and we're going to play around with uh, the opacity. So we're gonna bring this down to about 40% because we really want this text to blend in with the background. So about 40% will do. Now this was going to depend with your image. So if you see that your image is not really working, then you can always play around with the values until you have the desired look. So this is looking fine. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our image. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for our image module, like that. I'm gonna upload my image. Now my image is already in my media library, so all I've gotta do now is to select it and then click upload an image. So now you can see that the blending is now working here on this first column. So we need this to work as well. So we need to do a few adjustments on the image settings. So let's go over here to design, click on filters. Uh, we're going to increase the contrast a little bit to about 120 and then we're going to come over here to opacity and reduce that to about 45 percent so now we can see that our background image is now blending with this image which is beautiful so what we're going to do next is we're going to re uh, we're going to create another row which has similar items inside so to save ourselves time what we can do here is to clone this row so i'm just going to do that and then next i'm going to move all my modules to the right and move my image module to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna drag it over like that. And then I'm gonna move my text module over to the right. And then finally, we're gonna add this under here. So next, we're going to change the background color of this row. So let's come over here to our row settings, click on background, and then I'm gonna click the first tab and delete my color and add my new one like that. So now we can see that this row is actually lighter. So we do need to go in and now change the color of the text so that it's easier to read. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. So I'm gonna start off here with my paragraph text, click the module settings, and then I'm gonna click the design tab, click on text, and then I'm gonna come over here to my text color and paste my color like that. So now we can see that it's easier to read on this lighter background. So I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna do the same to the name here. So I'm gonna click the gear icon for my settings, click on design, text, and then I'm gonna come over here to text color. And for this, I'm gonna select black like that. And then I'm gonna come back over here to my content because we need to change the name from Jane to Anna like that. Go ahead and save. And then all we have to do now is to change this image. So I'm gonna come over here into my image module settings, click upload, and then we're gonna change that image to a different one. Click upload an image, and there we have it. So all I have to do now is to go ahead and save, and this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.